What's up, Spud Run Golf guys? How are we doing? December 24, 2021, Christmas Eve, and it's freaking awesome. It's got to be at least 50 degrees. So what we're going to do is I have some snow mold I need to apply to our golf green, our backyard golf green, come on. We're going to get that snow mold down after we play a little bit. We're going to tee off here from hole number one, play a couple balls, take you along with us, see how we do, and then we're going to spray out the snow mold. I got a freaking cat. You don't have cats on golf courses. There's another cat. We're gonna play two balls, see if we can get two pars. The old Airbnb's kicking my ass. Right down the middle, right down the gut. That one was really well, really, really nice. Damn, that one's good too. Could be two of the best drives I've had off this tee box. Why is that? I'm all stiff. Obviously, golf is a funny, funny game. You know, it's warm out. We're all juiced up and limber, and I can't hit the ball like that. And here I come off stiff as a cob and just bust two. That's the way it goes. All right, that's my first one. So I definitely hit that one about 270. I mean, it's right in the middle. Can't go wrong with the old tight list. Roly poly. People get pretty excited about that. But heard John Daly on a podcast the other day. He was talking about the short game. You know, John Daly's always been the big hitter, but after the PNC, he's talking all about the short game. That's short. That's going to be a tough par right there. Here's our second one. Probably hit that one closer to 290. Almost too good. Almost too good, though. I'm going to leave that there and go down after. I kind of feel like this is not the fairway. Downhill lie. Gotta get the ball up in the air. Alright. As we walk back to the buggy, we haven't really got winter yet, and we're gonna get it. But one of the things I wanted to do when I got our big track hoe and our, our bulldozer here, this whole bank here, this bank, I'd like to clean that all up, get us a good ditch line. It needs to ditch that a little bit. Uh, I don't want to build a mode all the time, but maybe some tall fescues or some sort Something maybe gets mowed once every month and just uh, give it a little more playability and, and make it look a little bit nicer Green side we're gonna have to get the zebra putter and we'll get that same one again This winter I've kind of developed an obsession with zebra putters. I think I have bought four now I mean you can buy them pretty cheap. Actually, I shouldn't tell you guys because you guys go out and buy them all now I have more competition but we're going to try to fix a couple up i've really had a hard time finding the old zebra putter covers they look like a sock like a zebra sock that's what i've had trouble with but i have managed to round up probably i've probably got five or six now oh, ho, ho. we're gonna call that a shoe in par about made it Man, that was awesome. Two pars. I'm gonna press my luck. I'm gonna leave you guys here by the hole. I'm gonna go back to the 90 yard par three. I hit two balls up here. Hopefully, I can make one. <laughs> Highly unlikely, but it's a Christmas miracle, maybe. Next on the tee box, Chillicothe, Ohio. Spud round golf. Green, fellas. Didn't even hit the green. That's a little bad. All right. One more, just for fun. Come on. Ooh, this is a tight. This Pro V1. Got my little logo on it. I'm gonna have to. I mean, I've always taken divots. I really. Not you have your own golf course, but you're in the backyard golf hole. That drives me crazy. We gotta re-level this thing with spring hooks. 
going. Terrible. All right, I'm done playing now. Put a couple balls on the green, which is not saying too much from that short distance, but feels good here on uh, Christmas Eve to be able to have the clubs out playing. And it's actually supposed to be nice for the next couple days, but Christmas Day will definitely be too busy. Let's grab that snow mold application and show you how we treat the, the green going to winter. That's been a question folks have asked, you know, what do you do in winter preparation? We don't cover it, which is only the second year we've had a winter on it, but we will spray the snow mold on it. And I've got a couple things I want to talk about with that snow mold. Here's Pub Run Golf. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know everything about what I'm doing, but I'm really trying. So if you guys see something that you think I'm, I can do better, faux show, sure, let me know. Let me know. That's what they said, let me know. Anyways, what we just sprayed was pretty much a fungicide for snow mold. Going into winter, that'll be the last thing we do on this green. We don't cover it. That'll be the last thing we do until we probably fire up the mowers and uh, might top dress it early early spring top dresser real good maybe even aerated i actually had somebody reach out to me i think he was from boston that had one for sale and he thought it'd be good for us so maybe we'll get that thing hooked up so now we're going to buzz over to the airbnb property that we have here at spud run golf it's not even close to being done but it's getting there like i said we're doing drywall now we're going to cut a lot of wood on that wood miser to do the interior finishes and stuff hoping it'll be ready by april 1st uh, I think it's gonna be sweet. We have a spectacular deal worked out with the local course that when they spray, they've got a big sprayer on their gator. And basically when they're done spraying, they have a little bit left in the tank that the, they won't pump out. He drains it into the containers, the two and a half gallon containers for me, and it works out perfect. A two and a half gallon container is actually just a little bit much, but every time I get one from him, I actually do the green and I do the surround of the green too. Definitely cheating on my part but it's a local climate, uh, same type of bent grass, and it just is so handy. I'm so lucky to have that. Now, I still have my own chemicals, but I definitely feed off him. Shipped the reels off to get them professionally sharpened, new bed knife. That thing will be cutting like a striped ass tape come this spring. <laughs> Thank you. 